What's up everybody? Welcome to Southern Life. That right there is Fort Sumter. This is the place where the American Civil War started. We're going to take a tour of Charleston, South Carolina. So welcome to our channel. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. We're going to tour South Carolina, Charleston. This place is incredibly important in U.S. history. When it comes to architecture, it's one of the most impressive cities in the United States. It really is a city worth a visit. Kind of touristy to a large degree, but I, I still think it's worth the visit. You know, I can't help but note the similarities between this place and Cuba, the country that I'm from, because it's also a very colonial place. In the case of Cuba, built by the Spaniards, and here, more English influence. However, it's still a very, very much like a step back in time cruising through here it really has that you know like caribbean almost almost feels like cuba almost feels like you know san juan puerto rico i mean you really feel like you're stepping back into the 1600s or something like that i don't know what the crap happened to my brakes man that, that drive through the beach man i got sand all over this thing I gotta make some adjustments before I keep riding this little guy. We recently took a ride through the beaches of South Carolina and I got sand all over this little bicycle. Cobblestone streets. on my brakes bro there are plenty of really shady spots to chill and even though it's a warm summer day there is a lot of shade here what I've really come to like about this place is you can smell the water in a good way not in a bad way like in southwest Florida you smell the dead fish and the red tide. You can actually smell the fresh water. It brings life to you. I mean, I'm sitting here and I can smell fresh water. Incredible views. And there's a lot of little places where you can actually just like find a shady spot to chill. And again, it is a nice warm summer day, but here's a nice little shady spot where you can chill. So there are plenty of spaces for you to chill and hang out. And in fact, catch people making their own spaces here and there. Really an absolutely gorgeous town. There's an incredible marine feeling to this place. Between the smell of the water, the wind breeze, all that. Um, so it's a very old city in 1860s. There is already something like 40,000 people living here. So there's a lot of really, really old buildings here. Not bad. That thing off the road, mate. You know, I can't help but notice the similarities in architecture between this place here, the age and the nostalgia between this place here and Camagüey, Cuba, where I was born, which is also a colonial city built in the 1600s. When I look at this church thing up there, top of the old buildings, it just reminds me of my hometown, Camagüey, Cuba. And I actually feel 
kind of a strange connection between this place and my hometown come my way. You've got the right idea. Well, but ironically, I just, uh, my mind keeps going back to Camagüey, Cuba, where I was born. Hey, you can't find me. And how much this reminds me of my hometown in Cuba. I mean, you know, the old buildings, just the layout of the street and the sidewalks and all. Um, you can really feel the age to this place. And, uh, well, at first I was a little upset when I first came into the town because I couldn't find a parking spot. And it's just reminded me a lot of Key West. But now that I spent some time here and kind of slowed it down a little, yeah, it's a pretty chill place to be. Sometimes you just have to kind of work through your difficulties and kind of step a little bit outside of your comfort zone to enjoy things. So I've had a few people ask me if this thing's a rental. Like, where do you rent that thing? I'm like, it's not a rental. It'd be a bad business. I should think about getting me a, a little mini bicycle rental. Man, that would be the thing. I'm sure the lawsuits would be incredible. <laughs> People getting hurt on them. I'm sure there's got to be some type of waiver. But no, for real, though, this thing right here, bro, like a little rental. Everybody looks at it like, what the crap is that, bro? Like this right here, I'm going to start a, a rental company in Fort Myers Beach renting these things to people. I'll probably get so many lawsuits and never make a dollar. And to further enhance that feeling that I'm back in Cuba, the ever-present smell of horse manure really just refines that Cuba experience for me. So I can pretty much say that I feel very, very, very close to home here, even though, strangely, it's a whole different world. I tell you what, you get that dang off the road, man, they're right there on the road, man. I've yet to see a squatted truck here. It's like an open market, market, market. And a little peripheral on the horses keeps the bugs off them. Keeps them nice and free of mosquitoes and bugs that like to bite them. All right, everybody. So at first, I didn't like the parking situation. I didn't like when you first come into town. It felt like it was overwhelming. But when you get to the actual like southern part of the city where the historical stuff is, 
it's actually pretty clean um there's not any litter on the sidewalk it's very clean there's police like every other block it, there's not too many aggressive sales people like there are in new orleans so while at first my main impression when i first came into town was i didn't really like it after spending some time here i really like it it's very chill very slow pace the temperature feels great the breeze on the ocean feels great haven't encountered any uh, aggressive salespeople yet or scammers. I'm not saying there aren't any out there, but I just haven't ran into them. I haven't seen any squatted pickup trucks yet. That truck looks fresh right there, man, though. Nice. That truck is fresh, but it's not squatted. Um, so, overall, I would say it's a really show place. It feels extraordinarily safe and friendly and welcoming. Everybody's just having a good time. Um, you know, after spending some time here, I like the vibes. I really, um, you know, I feel like when I first, when you first come in, you get off the highway, it looks like it's a little bit rougher on the outskirts. Once you're actually in the historic core, it feels very safe, very clean. As you can see, there's no litter. There's no like aggressive people trying to like hustle you or nothing. So overall, I would say it's a really nice travel destination with lots of history and just incredible vibes. And while at first I was a little hesitant to recommend the place after going around and walking and biking all over this place, uh, I'm going to say it feels a lot better than I thought it would and that I would really recommend it. I think my first impressions were a little bit kind of wacky. This guy's from New York. All right, if you've ever been to Camagüey, Cuba, which is my hometown where I was born, you'll see how this little passageway here will seem incredibly nostalgic to you. Um, so yeah, it really feels and reminds me a lot of Camagüey, Cuba, the place where I was born. It's just, especially right here, because there's a theater. I think there's a photo of my grandma. Is this the first squatted truck? Finally get a squatted truck. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, you got that GoPro on there too. Yeah, buddy. All right, man. He's got that GoPro on there and everything. All right, man. It's not really squatted though. It's not really squatted. It's just kind of like, I don't know, like South Carolina look, but it's not squatted. taking a wrong turn somewhere I'm pretty sure this is not where I was supposed to be right now. I definitely took a wrong turn somewhere oh here's what it is now we're really in the street style yeah buddy let me just say that the beauty of this city it just never ends I mean it's like all directions so I can't be here forever all day forever but you should know that there's beauty in all directions here and i guess you can go into this lake i guess and i guess you can go into this waterway since there's a staircase to it or maybe in case somebody falls out that they can get back in i'm not sure what it's about doesn't seem like swimming territory yeah.
man, he's got that thing sitting on four twos. I guess if you're gonna be one of these local tour guides, you gotta have some type of accent. It'd be like, man, I can't look back in that thing, that hat right there, right there. And if you can't do that, you're not gonna job here. Residential architecture. That's really what I'm a sucker for. And then there's a beautiful garden here. Beautiful, beautiful. All the flowers are just overwhelming. Oh, this is gorgeous. North Carolina, North Carolina. Take a shirt off. Swing around your head just like a helicopter. Whoa. North Carolina, South Carolina. Take a shirt off. Swing around your head just like a helicopter. Whoa. North Carolina. And then there's this unbelievably gorgeous. Wow. That is impressive. Welcome to South Carolina. On this video, we're going to be exploring Charleston, South Carolina. You guys ready for it? Let's do it. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. So there it is, our first real Carolina squat. There it is. We finally found one. I thought there'd be a lot more of these things hanging around. There it is. Carolina squat. All right, guys, so we're going to terminate the video by going for a little ride. Katie, can you please uh, GPS Myrtle Beach, South Carolina? Sorry, baby. I, don't, I didn't see anything I'd want to eat at. Did you find anything to eat? No. There's, once we leave here, there's not. Oh, on the other side is a the town. There's plenty. There's plenty of towns on the way. <laughs> so turn first, right onto King Street, then turn right onto South Battery. At first, I'm very skeptical. I mean, like, I was um, really, really skeptical at first. I wasn't really with the program at first. I was just, um, mm -hmm. well, I wasn't feeling the place. Mm -hmm. But after spending some time Head here, west on Murray Boulevard toward Battery Place. I think my opinion changed In a little bit. Feet, turn right onto Lenwood Boulevard. Um, I like it, to be honest. Um, it, like at first, I, when we first came in, I was like very apprehensive, apprehensive about the place. Turn right. But once I spent some time here, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it really is. Uh, lots of millennials everywhere, and lots of like hipsters. And <clears throat> in a quarter mile, turn right onto Trad Street. It's a new silver rain. I can't be scratching it up. Mm. I saw one squatter truck. Did you see any squatter trucks at all? Mm -hmm. One squatter truck at one time. I thought they were really like everywhere. No, the city seems to find one. Yeah, these are fancy people. Yeah. I liked it. It was pretty decent. Mm -hmm. I love the houses. Mm -hmm. nice. You guys see the set over here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There it is. It's Head northeast on Limehouse mm -hmm. Street towards South Battery, then turn left onto South Battery. You hear a tree sideways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I don't know if this is a one way or not. Yeah. Turn left on the We're going back route. 17. Okay. <clears throat> Can you turn left here? Yes, sir. Da, 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 da. So yeah, I mean, after spending time here, I would definitely even in a quarter mile turn there. left onto Broad Street. Yeah, I really would. Like I was a little bit over the top of my premature judgment, I suppose. Yeah, not finding parking does make you angry. Oh yeah, me not finding parking and like feeling like it's a tourist trap. That already like, and it is a tourist trap to be honest. Mm -hmm. It is, and, yeah. and, and but it does nonetheless have. Credentials to be a tourist trap, mm -hmm. and you can't knock the fact that it's a cool town with interesting history and all that, because it is a tourist trap. Yes. 
Are we able to get enough signal to move our videos? All of them are moved. So you guys are having great contact, huh? <clears throat> Ooh, Bronco. Bronco, Monaco. Mm -hmm. You scared the millennials. Everybody thought my motorcycle was cool, and a lot of people wanted to know where I rented it. In other words, if you were renting these things here, mm -hmm. it would actually be a legit business. Yeah. I just don't know the logistics of renting an electric bicycle to people. Those are the dirt bike. And how many times you'd be getting sued or people getting hurt on me if you were allowed to do it. Yeah. But that one, you know, makes sense. It seems like people really think it's a cool thing. But if you actually rented them to people... Yeah. It would actually be like a feasible business because everybody was like, yo, we rent that, we rent that. And I was like, no, man, we don't rent these things. I tried fire. to ride it once, but I was scared of it. Kitty. It's rated for 220 pounds. Yeah. Turn left onto Broad Street. Me being on it is a far stretch. Yeah. <clears throat> There's Might a beautiful to... lake over here. Yeah. Beautiful lake over here. Yeah. South Carolina has more accidents per capita than any other state. Continue for Alabama one mile. Alabama sometimes is... All the southern states have the worst accident rates. When I say accident, I mean like complete accidents. Like you're done accidents. South Carolina has the worst. And I'm not surprised when you're on these roads here. They don't really put engineering into I would have thought it would have been Georgia because oh, look, of right. Atlanta it's just large and massive. Nope. The more traffic there is yep. you have more accidents. Yeah. But less of those accidents are fatal. Yeah, thanks for warning my ad. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. How was it? Yep. Ruin my my cash flow. Sorry. It's okay. You've been ruining my money for a long time now. I'm used to it. So, beats Jacksonville as a travel destination. <laughs> Hands down, I'm sorry. This is nice. It really is. Like, I, I was, it beat my expectations for it. Yeah. But we did not get to see everything. We got to see, like, a percentage of it, really. Yeah. That's what you see when you go anywhere, so. Yeah. Loving an old Silverado. It's a deep one, so. Yes. I just got a call from a customer in Montgomery, Alabama, that needs some stuff hauled away. And I said, mile, oh, use the right lane to take the U.S. 17. I wish North I could lane. help you, sir, but Montgomery doesn't like my services. They don't want me there, so. See if you can find somebody else. Like, man, I tried all these paper. Nobody wants to work anymore. I need help, Jose. I can't find nobody. I said, well, you don't want no damn money. You know, you know what you, you know, they don't want me over there. So now, try to find somebody else. Now those services are in Florida. I need somebody to help Use me. Use the Jose. right lane to take the US 17 North Ramp. Well. Seems like your neighbors there didn't really want me in that area, so. When you burn down your own bridge, now you can't cross it. Now you gotta get your feet wet to cross it. It was a win for me. It was a win for my customers. But, that's what happens when, when, you, when you live in a place where, where you exclude people from the economy based on who they are. It hurts, it hurts everybody, you know? But, you know, hey, I'm, I'm welcome in Florida. I, I've never had somebody tell me in Florida I'm not welcome there. Mm. You know? In 1,000 feet, I don't, I've never had somebody US 17 try to, North Cannon Street. Run me out of Florida. So, it's kind of like, you, you burn down your own bridge there, Alabama. Think yeah, about all the realtors that were selling houses because I was advertising the place. Think about... Merge onto US 17 North Cannon Street, then use the left three lanes to turn slightly left onto Septima Clark Parkway. You can make a lot of money 
just by being in a place that other people don't want to be. When you move to a place like Florida, where I, where I live now, everybody wants to be in South Florida. So continue on Septima Clark Parkway for one mile. Since everybody wants to be there, it's hard to find work because everybody's doing whatever they can to be there. But when you go to a place that nobody wants to be in, like Montgomery, Alabama, then it's different. Then it's like you can make a lot of money because nobody wants to be there. I mean, think about today where real estate prices are going up and where people are moving all over the place trying to find uh, affordability. And Montgomery, Alabama, the population there, instead of growing, it's shrinking. People are moving out faster than they're moving in. And uh, why is the population shrinking? Well, look at my case. I moved there. Brought a bunch of capital. Brought two businesses that promote and help the community grow. And I got ran out. Because uh, they don't want to see somebody be successful. So now my customers are hurting because they can't find the service I was providing because nobody wants to do hard labor today. They don't want to work at a fast food place, let alone uh, you know, junk removal and hauling and all that. <clears throat> so talk about biting the hand that feeds you. I mean, somebody brings capital, businesses to your city, and instead of helping them grow, you try to destroy them because you don't like where they're from. So you're not successful but you don't want to see somebody else be successful, especially if they're not from there. Um, so it just goes to show that uh, you can literally bite the hand that feeds you. Here's come somebody with capital and investment to your city to help revitalize a place that needs it. But you would rather see the place go to crap mile, than be the successful. Right lanes to turn right onto the US 17 North and all because Georgetown. you don't like the fact that I'm an outsider. And actually, even the people that are from there, let's be honest about that. Because there's people from that area that are trying to do the right thing. And uh, they were tr they're being treated the same way I am. The only difference is that since they're from there, they have the ability to defend themselves a little bit better. Three miles. Um, it's just a horrible place to be. And the fact that the population is shrinking, that by itself lets you know that people don't want to be there. This is the last little step to the city. He's crossing this beautiful, majestic bridge. I'm really excited. I I, um, I recommend this city over over New Orleans. If you've been wanting to visit New Orleans, this is a much better alternative. It, it gives you a lot of the things you get in New Orleans, except for the crime, hustlers, and, and just there's a general sense of security here. So um, I definitely recommend it. Although New Orleans has one thing that I'm not Food? sure. Yep. That is very true. All the way around, this is a much better alternative to New Orleans. So if you've been thinking about going to New Orleans, but you're a little concerned with the safety thing, give this place. I didn't encounter any street hustlers. I didn't encounter any um, beggars. I didn't encounter any scams. It was just a nice, clean walk to a historical place. So it seems a lot more um, wholesome than New Orleans, a lot safer. Um, so I definitely recommend it. The crime rate right here, it's a little bit higher than the national average, but it's not ridiculous. So it's definitely a place that I would use the big boat with. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Definitely a place I would recommend. Um, and from here, you can actually see out to the ocean. So if you look down that way, you can see clear up to the ocean through there. So I would definitely recommend this drive. It's, it's uh, incredible. Um, South Carolina has really impressed me. Um, more so along the coast, I would say. Um, when you get further inland, it just kind of turns into like Alabama kind of. But once you're further, once you're further into the coast and along the water, it kind of feels like Florida still. It's got that Keep left to stay coastal on US beach vibe. So this is a place I would definitely recommend. Beautiful. I mean, look at this drive. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, definitely recommend it. I mean, I can't say too many bad things to say about it. Parking is an issue Keep like all tourist places. Um, but once I found a place to park the truck, 
kind of was enjoyable. The hard part was just finding parking at first. Continue and, uh, on US 17 North for I guess on the miles. outskirts it's a little bit more trashy, but once you're in the actual tourist area, I think they've kind of kept all the riffraff out there. It just it feels very safe. I enjoyed it. <laughs>